Tonight we're continuing our week-long series highlighting local organizations that make a difference in the lives of Siouxland youth and families. Tonight's nonprofit helps newcomers to the area. I spoke with the team at the Mary J. Tralia Community House to learn more about the programs they offer to immigrant families and their preschool that introduces kids to friends from around the world. And I came out of my office just for a break and I walked out and there were five different conversations happening in this room in five different languages. And that to me is incredible. Becky Carlson is the executive director of the Mary J. Tralia Community House. A community house is like the place you go when you need something, but also to socialize and to get integrated into your community. The community house celebrated 100 years this year, a century of service helping generations of new Americans create a home in Siouxland. Sioux City is kind of a small town when you think about like Chicago and different places like that but we are a big community because we have so many different cultures here. One of their biggest services are English classes, teaching non-native speakers the basics of the language. Some of them are non-speaking English people at all, zip zero, can't even say hi. So we do, that's where we fo I focus more on the level one where, hi, my name is so and so, I am from. It's the very basics of what your name is. How old are you? What, what is your birthday? Halima Osman teaches ESL classes at the community house, but she is also learning right along with her students. All my students actually, almost every single one of them, teach me things every day, so I'm learning with them. The community house continues to spread the message of the woman who shares their name. Mary J. Tralia dedicated her life to serving Siouxland's immigrant population. I can't imagine going to a foreign place and not really having somebody to go to for any, any needs that you have. The community house helps many in the Spanish-speaking community, and that's where Mercedes Dimas comes in. She also helps the refugees who now call Siouxland home. Our primary goal and like what we focus on is really just empowering people that are coming in and and hopefully with that empowerment we're encouraging even more people to come into our communities. Andrea Parrott has two main roles within the community house. The immigration system right now is very very complicated and chaotic and uh, we have to uh, explain to a lot of our clients you know the wait times are very very long uh, especially with COVID. She helps Siouxlanders through the process of becoming American citizens. There are a lot of requirements and one of them is that you need to speak and uh, write and understand English, but we're excited to help and encourage uh, people who are eligible to apply for naturalization. Along with citizenship services, Parrot also teaches preschool. Currently we have children in our preschool from several different countries, including Eritrea, Ethiopia, Somalia, Marshall Islands, Mexico, El Salvador, and the United States. A preschool class with so much diversity, the students are immersed into a world different from their own, learning every day that their friends come from all over the world. And I think it, it helps the children just from a young age to just learn that it's okay if we come from different places, if we wear different clothing, if we have different customs, and, and it's just uh, a given and, and fun to learn about each other. The Mary J. Tralia Community House offers so much to so many, with programming as diverse as the community they serve. It's easy to forget that if you stay in your little bubbles, but if you open up and are able to like get to know other people in the community, you'll see that there's some really amazing things that are happening here um, from all different cultures. To learn more about the Mary J. Tralia Community House, check out this story online at SiouxLandNews.com. You can also find the other segments in this series there. Tomorrow night we visit an after-school and summer program that helps girls know they are perfect just the way they are.